MK and I am back with another 14 days of Christmas. Um, this is supposed to be day five, but I got a little behind because I put my YouTube channel on the back burner, you guys. I apologize so much for that. I just wanted, um, you know, to be able to take care of the store and um, not worry about anything else. I wanted my customers to know that they come first. So anyways, without um, any more interruptions. I have the sticker sheet from um, the Christmas Lodge and then I have this really beautiful gray paper with green on the other side. That one is from Rustic uh, Christmas or I believe, no, I, I apologize, the um, Noel collection. I have both of the faux brads. I also have my tray over on the side, but I don't plan on using anything. I pulled out everything that I plan on using. I also have a bunch of stuff over on the left that I don't plan on using. What I did was I finally opened up all the packaging and put them in trays and piles and things like that. Um, all of the very tiny little stuff is what you see over on the left. I have not found a home for that just yet. Uh, and then before this layout, I went through everything um, that I might possibly want for this particular layout and um, just went ahead and threw it all in a pile and that's what I'm showing you now. I have two rub-ons again from the 49 and collection uh, 49 and market uh, Noel collection. I've already created my title using the little sticker book that I had from Christmas Lodge. Um, I pulled out all of these really large frames from the 49 and market 49 and market um, Peace and Joy collection. I cannot wait to use those striped frames, but I just really wanted to use all the frames. So that's what this is going to be. I have four photos to put on my layout. And then I didn't know which heart I was going to use. So I pulled out all of the um, buffalo checked hearts and the black and gray hearts from uh, the, Christmas, the Rustic Christmas collection. Um, from Simple Stories. So anyways, I'm going to use this beautiful green piece of paper as my background. Now, if you noticed, I did not pull out any other paper. I'm This is all going to be hugely embellished. Um, so that way I don't have to worry about any of, um, you know, any of the mismatchy or anything like that. It's going to be very collagey, like almost I threw everything on the layout and went, Oop, I'm done <laughs> because I really wanted my photos um, to be the main star of the show, right? Uh, I went ahead off camera and trimmed down all of my photos. And um, so this is uh, photos of all of us. We just boarded um, the Polar Express <clears throat> over in Ely. We just boarded it. Um, and we, like I said, we had an entire cabin to ourselves. It was so fun. It was so nice. And um, right before the train starts to take off, um, the ticket master comes through and asks for your tickets and he punches the tickets. And it is really cool. Um, they have a special punch that um, sometimes it's a tree, sometimes it's a star, sometimes it's, um, oh, what was the other one? I think it's a B, you guys, for believe. I believe that that's what it is. Um, but it, it just depends on when you go. And, um, I, I think who's the ticket master. I don't know when they decide, um, either that, or they use a different one throughout the day. So that way they know you've already used your ticket and wrote or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, ours was stamped with a star just to let you guys know. Um, but I have seen the other, uh, punches because when my daughter and I first went, my, my eldest daughter, um, when we first discovered this amazing train and rode it the first time, it was a bee. Um, and so, uh, and then the second time it was, a, it was a tree and then this time it was a star. So I'm really super excited to see all the different punches that they have. All right. So I'm going to take all of these splatters from 49 and markets, um, peace and joy rub-ons and put them throughout just to make it look like it's a mess. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This layout is going to look like a hot mess and it's intentional because that's what I wanted. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim out um, from the 49 and Market Noel rub-ons. I'm going to trim out the, um, the borders that were there. I had two little borders. One is kind of like a grungy lace and the other one is just their um, signature stripe border that they, that they kind of do. Uh, and then some of these 
items that I picked out aren't going to make it. I just put them right back on the tray. Some of them um, are going to make it. And then, of course, those end up on the layout. That's weird. Um, but first, I'm going to go ahead and put all of my rub-ons down. And I really like, I really love these rub-ons, you guys. I cannot express enough. They're all, like I said before, they are almost like a sticker, but, you know, a see-through sticker, but not shiny. And I love that. It Can anybody please create see-through stickers that aren't shiny and then they're obviously stickers well 49 and market did it in their rub-ons and i just love it and the reason why i say that they're like stickers is because as soon as you pull the paper backing off they're sticky and so if you accidentally put it on something you didn't want it to i'm sorry it's gonna stay yeah they're sticky um and i've never had a rub-on be sticky like that um i've never had a rub-on to where i didn't actually have to work to rub it on like I, I really had to work at it and these ones here nope there's nothing there it's just rub rub did I rub enough eh, maybe let's pull it up and find out yep I did okay and that's it I mean it's it is awesome these I cannot boast enough about these rub-ons and I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of me boasting about the rub-ons but you guys get some rub-ons in your stash it's it's wonderful <clears throat> excuse me Mr. Frog is here to join me for this voiceover. I apologize. So I'm going to put my uh, grungy lacy bit in two different areas just because I wanted a little bit more red on the layout and I didn't have, e I didn't want to, in all honesty, didn't want to use up all of my blotchy reds because I, I didn't want to just be stuck with the greens and in case I wanted to use them on another layout. So I wanted to share the wealth basically. Um, and that uh, peace and joy being all red was absolutely perfect. Uh, I actually have no idea where anything else is going to go on this layout. I am just going rub on crazy because I wanted to create those layers for all of my elements. So then um, on the bottom, so basically um, the base layer for my clusters is going to be the rub ons. And then of course, having the rub ons in other little areas made it look like it was intentional. I decided to use these boots um, to represent the conductor instead of Santa, which I thought was a pretty cool, you know, thing. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where I want them. And I decided that I want them uh, with the title so like it's it's going to be the conductor's feet standing there waiting for the tickets and my title's just tickets please and i don't have tickets per se but i did have a bunch of postage stamps and so i thought that that was uh perfect for this layout just being of you know tickets and um you know it just in my brain it made sense to me to um you know that these are good enough to represent tickets so yeah uh, my kids were super excited. I mean, when this guy came back through, because like I said, we were in the very last car all by ourselves, and he was amazing to my kids. Um, you know, he kind of just got into character and answered all their questions, just everything. It was so much fun, and he indulged us so much, even though the train was waiting on us because we were the last ones. Um, and then it, he got to the end, um, in the back where my kids are sitting, he got into the back and picked up the microphone instead of, uh, or in uh, the, uh, the overhead speaker, um, instead of walking all the way to the front, he picked up that and announced that, you know, everyone is checked in and ready for the ride and how his spiel, I don't know exactly what the spiel is, but it's specific for the ride. It's, it's, you know, tell Santa we're on our way type of deal. Um, I'm also using the postage stamps for covering up dead spaces, uh, where I didn't think, um, because these train rides, they go on forever and it's all volunteer work. Um, the deck, the people that decorate the train is all volunteer work. The people that, um, sign up to be, uh, the ticket master is volunteer work. It's all volunteer work. And so over the day, they don't have time to, you know, fix garland, um, from, you know, if, a, if a kid accidentally bumped it or somebody, um, you know, accidentally touched it. Right. 
Um, so there are little spots there where the garland's falling off or it's not quite gone all the way to where they wanted it to because they just ran a little shy, things like that. Um, and so I'm using the tickets to help me cover those spots up. And then that way I get to see all the festivities, but not the imperfections of the festivities. So anyways, that is my layout for today. Thank you so very much for uh, hanging out with me. Um, I did off camera do a little bit of pen work on the title because I think it needed a little bit of help. So I did do a little bit of stitching um, on top of the word tickets. And then I outlined the word please because I just really felt like it was plain Jane. And when I did that, it was really cool because it made it now look like it was 3D. So I was pretty happy with that. All right, there are the close-ups. Thank you so much for uh, putting up with uh, me and uh, all the mishaps that have gone on through this month for me um, please be sure to check out everyone else that has been continuing to play along um, and I just I am so appreciative of all of them um, don't forget to check out Janet she is doing this series with me it was our brainchild together I'm not sure if I've said that before or not um, because sometimes I just like talking about my photos you guys <laughs> <laughs> but definitely check out Janet's channel. I know that she has been diligent um, of keeping this series going um, while I just basically shut my channel off for a few days. Um, so anyways, thank you so much and I will check you guys all later. All right, bye.